Hey guys, so today I'm going to install this Yolink water leak detection and shutoff starter kit on my townhome here. I'm down in the basement, so this is my main water coming in. Got a gate valve, goes through the water meter assembly, got a second valve there. That pipe on the bottom is just for support, it's not functional, so that's just a 90. And the water feeds up and into the house. Now, in order for this Yolink kit to work, I need to install ball valves in order for this uh, Evo valve to attach to. So I'm going to have to replace the gate valves. I'm not going to be able to replace this one because I'm not able to actually turn the water main off out at the curb, unfortunately. So I'll probably come back to that later with uh, some other type of isolation valve, like an Aladdin valve that I can install down here. But for now, I'm just going to replace this gate valve here. And uh, this is a three quarter inch copper pipe system. Uh, really had a hard time finding 90 degree three quarter uh, water meter valves. Uh, but I was able to find these guys here from uh, Legend, three quarter inch. So these are ball valves. It's got a flare fitting on the bottom here. So I'm going to flare the copper into a threaded fitting. So this guy will go on here. And uh, when you take the handle off, and this guy here is isolated, then you can install this adapter that uh, Yolink sends you, and that'll go onto the valve. And it's got a square tip on it to actuate. And this guy here, the uh, Yolink Evil Valve Operator, will actually install onto that with the square here, and that'll be able to remotely turn your water on and off. So that's the plan. So the first step here is gonna be to turn the water off and take the water meter out. Um, and then you can see here in the kit, you've got the uh, valve operator. Uh, it comes with a couple of uh, leak sensors. I actually bought an extra kit, so I've got six of these. Probably get some more actually. Um, and then you've got the Yolink hub and you've got the uh, valve operator controller. So that's the plan. I'll be installing that today. Okay, so I've already got the ball valve handle removed. You can see here you've got uh, two flat sides. So first thing we're gonna do is take this adapter, just loosen uh, these screws here. And that's going to go onto here. Okay, so I've got those tightened up pretty easy. Next step is going to be to install the valve operator, which has a receptacle here that'll fit over the square adapter there. So I'm working off of a uh, 90 degree elbow here the way this comes it's designed with these two brackets to attach to a pipe on either side of the ball valve but in the instructions they tell you if you've got a 90 like this what you do is you take one of the brackets and move it to the top side here so that both brackets are on the top side so that's what i'll be doing next okay so i got the setup on there and you know it's worth noting this comes with a couple different length brackets i had to switch to the shorter ones as you can see here and what they recommend is if you're on a 90 degree uh, elbow like this, that you spread these apart as far as possible. And this was really the best I could do. One all the way top has a straight hose clamp around. And then the next one I had to come down and put up an angle and use the larger hose clamp and go around the other hose clamp. But it is all tight and that's really all just to provide structural lateral support for this motor to turn the valve. Okay, next step is to install this uh, Evo valve controller too. I'm just gonna control the valve here. You can see there's a little pigtail comes off, connects in here. Get an optional 12 volt power supply. Uh, you can also run this off of, I believe, AA batteries. Um, fortunately, I have an outlet right there, which is very convenient. So I'll be able to just use this power adapter. And uh, it's just three screws. So I'm probably just gonna mount mine right here. And just a quick note too, there's an O-ring seal. This is actually an outdoor rated connector. So it would be uh, watertight. I'm not so sure about this power connector. It does have a plug that goes in it, 
but uh, it looks like you could probably mount this outdoors. Okay guys, I just finished up here. Uh, installed the hub, it was very easy. You can follow the manufacturer's instructions, but uh, basically just connect the Yolink hub to my home router, uh, installed the app on my phone, uh, plugged it in, scanned the QR code on the back, and it was up and running. Uh, then I went and added a device. You just scan the QR code again on the controller here, added it in no problem, and immediately connected, uh, and everything just worked. Um, you can test this valve very easily. All you do is press the button here. You see the valve is in the on position right now, water flowing, pointing up. And uh, if I just press this button here, then the valve will close. You can see it's kind of slow. Pretty torquey mounts directly on the valve. But uh, works perfectly. And it does show you in the app that it's closed. I won't be able to show you that, but and I did test it through the app. You can open and close it through the app as well, no problem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this again. And uh, yeah, that was it, guys. It was actually a very easy install. Works well, I'm very happy with uh, the setup and connectivity on the app side, very simple and straightforward, and uh, seems to work. So I'll be able to remotely turn my water on and off from anywhere now. Okay, and the kit also came with three leak sensors, uh, and I also purchased three new ones. The ones that come in the kit don't have a speaker built in. They're the uh, leak sensor version one. Um, you can get the version four in a three pack online. Those have a alarm built in. I think they last three to five years off a of battery. They're wireless, very easy to add in the app. You can name the room that you put them in. And uh, in the maintenance room here, I've got my hot water heater and everything slopes down to the drain. So I'm gonna put it right above the drain here at the low point. So if I had a leak from my hot water heater or from my water inlet valves here, uh, the water should flow down. And the way these sensors work is off of a pair of electrodes. So you've got two on the top and you got two pairs on the bottom. I think they're a tenth of an inch off the floor. And uh, if those electrodes get shorted through the water, then uh, the sensor will get tripped. And you can test them really easy. Uh, you can just lick your thumb here, connect the electrodes, and you can see it's triggered the leak sensor. And just dry it off and it'll stop. So yeah, super easy to use, very easy to add in the app. Um, and you can configure the app where if these sensors trip, you can have it automatically close your water valve uh, to prevent flooding. So that's a nice feature as well. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend getting these. Easy to install. I've got six. I'm going to probably get four more and uh, that'll have my house pretty well covered. There you go. Hope that was helpful and uh, see you guys in the next video.